welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. Today I have got a 20 by 20 canvas that I'm going to be doing a pour on. And you guys know I'm not crazy about doing voiceovers, but I actually recorded this video several weeks ago. And it was before um, the current situation is... Um, as bad, as bad as it is and I was just you guys know I, I just have conversation and talk when I'm painting and I was just talking about stuff and since then YouTube has um put in some um just some filters I guess to try to stop the spread of misinformation and so there are key words or key phrases that if a video contains them um that it will be flagged either taken down or demonetized um so just in the course of my conversation i'm pretty sure i said one or two of those key phrases not that my conversation was harmful it was just conversation so anyway i've i've had to do a voiceover on this um and yeah they're always awkward <laughs> but i still wanted to share uh share this video with you guys because this piece came out so beautiful um, the logic behind it really was I had been using the, um, DecoArt Extreme Sheen Deep Sa Sapphire color. It's a really pretty blue color. Um, I wanted to use that color. I had gotten some new paint. Um, it's either Master's Touch or the Fine Touch. It's a Hobby Lobby brand. But, um, it was in the color Prussian Blue. It's a heavy body acrylic. It is so pretty, y'all. And um, I was like, I want to use that. I want to do a monochromatic pour. But I don't want a blue monochromatic pour. What am I going to do? <laughs> um, so, I, of course, Googled it. Because that's what I do for everything, right? And um, a color palette that was gray and blue popped up in my feed. And um, I was like, that's pretty. I want to do that. Um, I only had one gray color. So... <laughs> I just took that gray and I mixed it with some white and then I mixed it with some black and so I had some varying tones of gray um, and yeah I just went from there um, as you can see in the beginning of this video I just listed all those colors because they were um, quite quite a few and they were like combinations so um, if you want to replicate this um, pour you know do a pour with these colors they're listed at the front of the video, and um, that's probably easy access for you guys. But, um, yeah, so, just, uh, this pour came out so great. Normally, I'm quite critical of my um, work, and I can find one or two things that um, I don't like about a piece, and say, oh, well, I wish I did this, or I wish I did that. But in all honesty, there's nothing about this pour I would change. Um, I love everything about it. And um, it has since dried. I wish I had thought ahead and, like, did a, um, a little video to add to the end of this, showing you the dried piece. I didn't think about it. Um, but I will be showing you that in the next few days. Um but yeah, it just came out really, really great. There's also satin enamel in this. And um, I used the the satin enamel and mixed it with house paint. I had a subscriber ask me, you know, to try to give ratios. I listed those ratios on that um, piece of paper that's at the beginning of the, the video. I tried to be more mindful and pay attention um, to what I was doing. And um, so... I think those ratios are about right. Um, <laughs> and that's just me trying to think back on like, okay, what did I do? Um, so, yeah, I think that's... You You never need like this huge amount of satin enamel. It's very, um, it's very reactive. And that's probably a good thing because it's not the cheapest paint in the world. Um, but you, you don't need a lot. Um, so, yeah... Um, I'm trying to think Th these voiceovers. Well, I struggle with them and because I'm so used to just like, like sitting down and having a conversation with you kind of format. Um, and so it's a little bit like awkward and weird to try to think back <laughs> and say, 
you know, this or that. Um, I hope you all are well. I hope that you are um, staying safe and um, just keep your head up. Better days are coming. Um, and uh, yeah, as far as school, for me, school has pretty much been the same. Um, that's because I'm an online student. Um, the university that I attend did have to extend spring break an extra week to give the tech department and professors time to transfer all um, face-to-face -face classes into an online format. If you've ever taken an online class, you know the magnitude of that um, because there's modules you have to upload, there's lectures you have to upload, like there's just a ton of information that has to be put into a class that's online. So for my university to be able to convert every in-person class into an online setting is incredible to do that in two weeks. So um, yeah, the tech department was on top of things and um, classes resumed today. Today is Monday the 30th. Um, classes resumed today and um, the only change for me has been we I have one class that has um, two proctored exams, the midterm and the final. That teacher's just taken the proctored element away. And so we we're able to take the test like in our home, you know. Um, so that's really the only change that's been been for me. And I'm thankful for it because school is like part of my everyday normal routine. I make a schedule based on what assignments I have to get done. And it's just kind of kept me grounded. And um, yeah, it's just in this um, ongoing situation, it's just kind of given me a little bit of comfort. Like my normal routine is still semi-normal. Um, and I'm, I'm very thankful for that. Also, I know a lot of you guys are not able to go to work, um, and hopefully, you know, you're able to take this time to spend with your family, um, and, um, yeah, just do something, draw closer to each other, I guess. I, I do come to work, um, you guys know I work in law enforcement, um, and most of these types jobs, um, medical personnel that kind of stuff we're still going to work um and and going to continue to come to work and and do our jobs because our community re relies on us for that so you know um it's it's something that we're aware of when we come into this um type of work you're completely aware that um emergency situations don't really apply to you um, when it comes to doing your job or not and um, you know it is what it is we're, we're gonna do our jobs and, and and take precautions that's all we can do and that's what we've been doing um, and yeah so um, I'm trying to thank my mom Y'all, she's going stir crazy. She is the funniest thing. She says, Nikki, just let me get in the car and, and, and just go drive to town. I'll just sit in the parking lot. I just need to. I'm like, no, you're not doing that. <laughs> I'm like, no, you have to stay home, mom. And um, she's uh, she's getting a little bit. Oh, uh, what you could. There's a word for it whenever you're 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 having to stay inside all the time. Um, whatever that word is, she's getting there. She, she wants to go out. She's like, I just want to drive. I just want to, um, I'm like, mm -mm, no, um, she, uh, she does get to, she'll walk around. We got, um, a considerable amount of land. So she'll, she'll take a walk down the drive and get the mail and that kind of thing. Um, stir crazy. Is that the word? Maybe that's a Southern word. Um, <laughs> but yeah, she's, um, she's, she's for the most part, I'm keeping her at home safe. So hopefully she won't sneak out while I'm away <laughs> at work. Um, yeah, fingers crossed. Right. But, um, this, I'm, I'm taking it down. I'm showing you some close ups. If you can see around the outside of this, um, pour, there's like little pearly cells popping up as it dried those cells 
got bigger a little bit not huge but just a little bigger and a little more um concentrated and it looks so cool you guys i can't wait to show you the dried piece um but overall i'm so 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 happy with the way this came out it's it's really pretty probably one of my favorites um and i love this canvas size i got a couple of these uh canvases in this size so i'm looking forward to doing more pours on them um it's pretty big so uh it was a challenge for me but i think i took it on and um yeah and created something really incredible so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video and um i do do wish you all well i hope you're staying safe um and yeah i will speak to you all very soon bye